Hi, in this video we are going to see about the different phases of cardiac cycle. So this has been asked previously in our uh, university questions as a short essay. Like uh, describe briefly the mechanical events of cardiac cycle. It has also been asked as a draw and label question like uh, draw and label a cardiac cycle. The left ventricular pressure changes uh, recorded during a normal cardiac cycle as well as the right ventricular pressure curve during a normal cardiac cycle. So in this video we will be discussing briefly the mechanical events of cardiac cycle. So when such a question is asked first of all you have to start with the definition. So a cardiac cycle is defined as the cardiac events that occur from the beginning of one heartbeat to the beginning of the next. So that is known as the cardiac cycle. And the total duration of a cardiac cycle is 0.8 seconds. That is if it, if it is the normal heart rate of 72 per minute, then the duration will be around 0.8 seconds. So then we can write about the mechanical events in cardiac cycle. So you can write that that is a, a atrial systole as well as diastole and ventricular systole and diastole. So we know that the total duration is 0.8 seconds. So of which our atrial systole is around 0.1 second and diastole is around 0.7 seconds. So you can see that the atrial systole is very of a very short duration. Whereas the ventricular systole is of 0.3 seconds and ventricular diastole is of 0.5 seconds. Okay. Now uh, we, then we have to write in detail about what happens or what are the mechanical events in the ventricular part. Okay. So here. Uh, we said that the systole is of 0.3 seconds and diastole is of 0.5 seconds. Now each systole and diastole of the ventricle is further divided into different phases. So you can remember like this, the systole has 0.3 seconds, right? So here we've got three phases and diastole is of 0.5 seconds. So here we've got five phases. So three and three, five and five. Okay. So the first phase in systole is isovolumetric contraction. And then we've got the rapid ejection phase and slow ejection phase. In diastole, we've got the protodiastole, isovolumetric relaxation, rapid filling phase, slow filling phase, and finally, the active filling phase, which actually coincides with the atrial systole. Right? So these are the different phases during the ventricular systole and diastole. Now we'll just quickly see each one by one. So we said that the first phase is an isovolumetric contraction phase. So as the name suggests here, you can see that the, the term ISO means same. So same volume, which means that here the ventricular volume does not change. Why is the ventricular volume not changing? That is because all the valves here are closed, both the atrioventricular as well as the semilunar valves are closed. So here the ventricle is like a closed chamber. That is why it is called an isovolumetric contraction phase. So see here the ventricles contract and uh, the atrioventricular walls have closed. So what happens whenever there is a valve closure, there will be a heart sound, right? So here, here we have the first heart sound because of the atrioventricular valve closure. So that is why we have got an S1 here in this phase. Now since the ventricular volume is constant because all valves are closed, and because the pressure here increases during this time, the AV walls will actually bulge into the atrium, right? So it will bulge like this because of the increased ventricular pressure. Okay, so these are the characteristic of isovolumetric contraction. Next, we've got the rapid ejection phase. That is because now here, see, the pressure has increased so much that now the blood, the semilunar valves have opened and blood will start pumping out via the iota as well as the pulmonary vessels. So see the similar valves open and there is uh, the ventricular pressure reaches a maximum like it reaches 120 millimeters of mercury in case of left ventricle and 25 millimeters of mercury in the right ventricle. Okay. And there is rapid ejection of blood into the artery. So almost two third of a stroke volume is occurs during this phase of rapid ejection. Now this is followed by the slow ejection phase. So during this time, there is slow, the, since the pressure gradient has decreased, the ventricles will now eject the blood at a much slower rate. So the rest one third of the stroke volume is pumped during this time. And it is during this time that the ventricular volume reaches a minimum. Why? Because now the, all the blood has been pumped out. So the ventricles is in a much 
ventricular volume is much decreased and the intraventricular pressure starts declining now this is followed by the proto diastole in which the ventricles now start relaxing after that ejection phase so the intraventricular pressure falls and there is closure of this semilunar walls so see there is closure of the walls here so remember whenever there is closure of the walls there will be heart sound so it is during this proto diastole that we've got the second heart sound s2 which is due to the closure of the semilunar walls now this is followed by the isovolumetric ventricular relaxation now here again in this phase also all the valves have closed right the av valve as well as the semilunar valves have closed and the ventricle is relaxing so here now the volume is constant but the pressure is falling so ventricle is relaxed as a closed chamber and the ventricular pressure decreases and it ends with opening of the atrioventricular valve so when the ventricular pressure falls much lower this valve will open and there will be there there will be the it will move on to the next phase so the next phase is a rapid ventricular filling phase in which there is opening of atrioventricular valves along with flow of blood from the atria to the ventricle so initially there will be a rapid inflow of blood and this is followed by the uh, slow ventricular filling so it is in this phase that we've got the third heart sound right so third heart sound or s3 occurs during ventricular filling now this is normal only during pregnancy it is pathological during other conditions like heart failure now the slow ventricular phase it is other is known as a diastasis okay see here the duration is a maximum for diastasis so it is during this phase that the ventricles will fill slowly and that is because the pressure in both atria and ventricles have reduced now so there is very slow ventricular filling and this is followed by the atria systole for which lasts for about 0.1 second so now it is during this phase that there is rapid filling of the ventricles see because there is an increased pressure here now there is ventricular systole so there is increased pressure being exerted from the atria so there is rapid filling of the ventricles okay so the additional 25% of the filling of the ventricles occur during this last phase of active filling which coincides with the atrial systole now it is during this time we've got our s4 that is our fourth heart sound and normally it is not audible so remember s3 was during ventricular filling whereas s4 is during our atrial systole now for some additional scoring points you can also write the different applied aspects like valvular heart disease see we said that uh, our normal heart sounds are s1 s2 s3 and s4 right of which s3 and s4 is uh, normally not audible in normal subjects see whenever they've got we've got a valvular heart disease we will get other additional sounds called murmurs and for each type of valvular heart disease there are specific murmurs that are produced okay so you can briefly mention about the different valvular heart disease and you can write about cardiac myopathies in which there'll be uh, the heart the ventricles will be dilated and they fail to contract efficiently and finally you can also mention about the heart failure in which the ventricles and the atria fails to contract effectively okay so finally you can also draw this diagram which shows the different pressure and volume changes of the cardiac cycle this is known as a vigors diagram so in this we can uh, write all the different heart sounds the electrocardiogram as well as the volume and the pressure changes okay so to summarize with in this session we have discussed about the atrial systole and the ventricular ventricular systole and diastole we have seen the different phases of the ventricular systole which are isovolumetric contraction the rapid ejection phase and the slow ejection phase as well as the proto diastole isovolumetric relaxation rapid filling phase slow filling phase and the active uh, filling phase of the atrial systole okay so i hope the concept is clear thank you